Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be planning my March bullet journal setup and this month I decided to dedicate to incredible, amazing, incredibly cozy game Stardew Valley. This February Stardew Valley celebrated, I believe, six year anniversary and it was a shame not to incorporate it anyhow in my bullet journal because of my incredible love to this game which always brings me so many cozy memories, so many incredible emotions and also I started a new play for it recently. Uh, I would really appreciate if you could check it out on my second YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave the link in a pop-up right here so you can go and maybe show it a little bit of love too. Also this uh, month I decided to make a little bit more uh, clustered, a little bit more uh, short so to say. So in here you can see my calendar for this month which also has uh, my mood tracker uh, which I decided to make in shape of uh, little creatures from the game, Junimos and they are all gonna be different colors according to my mood this day. Uh, right under my calendar I decided to put uh, the habit trackers so it's also all in one small page so I can open the page, see it clearly and I don't have to uh, look at different pages if I want to do different things. And also it's a little bit easier for me to see specifically which day of the week it is and to see specifically what number it is and it just looks neat and convenient. And now we are moving on to my cover page, monthly cover page. I decided to go back to gouache painting this month uh, once again, just like I did for the month of January, just because I felt like it was really cozy, really comfortable feeling from this nice uh, paint texture. So I just uh, drew some of the crops you can get in Stardew Valley because Stardew Valley obviously is a farming game and uh, in here you can see parsnip, rhubarb and coffee, coffee bean. All these three you can easily get in spring. Uh, right under that I wrote the name of the month which is obviously March in, and I tried to make it <laughs> into this Stardew Valley style text like you can see in the title screen Stardew Valley is kind of made of like wooden blocks, wooden planks with occasional leaves so I try to make it a little bit in this style It was incredibly fun to draw with gouache once again. It was a little bit more challenging to try trying to do this wooden texture, but honestly I feel pretty happy uh, with the way it turned out in the end, because I feel like yes it's in a way messy, yes it's in a way uneven. Looking back at the footage I can see that it's not on a straight line. But it all adds this kind of like cottagecore, cozy vibe to it, which makes me very nostalgic in a way. Plus, I'm pretty happy how it looks in the end. All the colors are very warm, very vibrant, 
so it always brings the memories of playing Stardew Valley and just all these emotions that the game brings. And right under the title I decided to draw a couple of these magical creatures, Junimus, once again. Uh, they, in the game, are completely different colors. They can be blue, green, red, purple. But in here I tried to make them a little bit more uniform, so we have one green one and one blue one. Also, one of the most precious crops or forgeables, most, more accurately, is obviously mushrooms. And what farming game could go without incredibly cute chickens? Uh, chickens can also be absolutely different colors, uh, but I decided to go with the brown chicken. It's more basic, it's more cute in this specific situation, and I just felt like it goes with the uh, colors of all the things on this page more. I was thinking about making a blue chicken, but I felt like brown fits a little bit better here. And then just to add some more accents and some more outline to all the objects on the page, I decided to use my uh, black liner, but I soon realized that it gets too much paint off the page and it gets stuck, so soon I will be switching to my brush pen, which went a lot smoother. Unfortunately, you can see with the liner and with the black pen later, I have very trembly hands, but honestly, in this case, I kind of like the final look because, again, it added a little bit more messiness, a little bit more uh, realistic look into all this. And also, I wanted to incorporate my YouTube and Instagram trackers once again, because I have two uh, Instagram pages for my gaming and for my art. And I also have two YouTube channels for my gaming and for my art, so I decided to track both of them on the 1st and 15th day of the month once again, so I can see if there is any progress or regress throughout the month.
like outlining all the things on this page really really made them kind of pop and look a lot better maybe because in the game all the items have a little outline and it adds to this style maybe because it kind of added little details but i would say both of them so i really like the outline even though it looks a little bit messy i really do like the way it uh, turned out in the end And moving on to my first weekly spread, as long as I decided to make this month a little bit more cluttered, a little bit less page taken, so to say, uh, I decided to put two weeks on just one spread, so one week on one page. And because usually, and unfortunately nowadays, I don't really have that many things to track, it worked out pretty well for me. Uh, for this specific uh, spread, I decided to go with Junimos again because they are easy to make, pretty quick, and they look adorable. So I just drew some circles with my nice uh, circle ruler and I colored the uh, Junimos uh, in them with different, different colors, different colored markers. And then after that, you can see I will be doing some little eyes, little hitties, little arms, and a little tiny leaf on top of them. And right after I finished all the journeymos, I realized that I'm kind of missing the day of the month and maybe the day of the week indication as well. And I didn't really want to write it on the journeymos face, so I just wrote it down next to the journeymos. So Monday 28th and so on and so forth. And just like that, with the final line, we are done with my March setup. It was incredibly fun, it was a little bit shorter than usually, but I adore this spread so much. They are so cute, they are so adorable. Happy birthday to Stardew Valley once again. Unbelievable game. Can't wait to play more of it, can't wait to draw more of the weekly spreads. But thank you very much for watching this video. 
and I hope to see you very soon in my next videos. Bye.